good video, good vlog tonight. Um, I want to start by saying a huge thank you to Hello Dolly Nursery for including me as one of the guardian angels. Um, I find that to be a great honor and I look forward to participating in future opportunities to help raise awareness of child abuse and neglect because that is what the guardian angels are all about at the moment and if you're not familiar with Hello Dolly Nursery please go check her out and yeah I mean you'll be seeing more about it here um, on my channel and look forward to um, some more about that but thank you so much for making me one of the very first guardian angels and I will do you proud alright <clears throat> along with that I mentioned not that long ago about my story that I'm writing who's your daddy and how a part of that story has a, a small part but a significant part has to do with child abuse and I, the title of the story who's your daddy is kind of silly and fun and the story is you know it does have some silly fun parts but it's a um, it's a story about love it's a story about family and relationships and um, especially family you know that the family unit sort of revolves around the story or the story revolves around the family unit unit it's midnight I would love doing these things at midnight um, and yeah so a part of that story a part of the storyline deals with child abuse and I mentioned that it was um, based on a personal experience or um, not a personal experience but a situation that I personally saw at one point in life and I wanted to talk a little bit about that and explain that a little bit further um, it was a few years ago I was about nine eight nine years old and it was late 80s and myself my mom and my younger brother were at Kmart I think I think it was Kmart and we were just walking around and, well you know that's what you do at Kmart right walk around and there was this family there kind of a large I remember them being kind of a large family it was like a bunch of adults and I don't know how many kids there were but they weren't the, and I don't want to word this the wrong way, but they were kind of, they weren't the cleanest looking people. They were kind of scruffy and I don't, I don't know, you know, they were just they were questionable looking. And not that you have to be super clean <laughs> all the time, and not that super clean people don't at sometimes um, abuse and neglect their children as well. And at the same time, not all questionable scruffy looking people abuse or neglect their children but this family happened to be quite scruffy dirty looking and they had um, a little boy with them he was about maybe three three years old and he was as well you know he was um, kind of dirty I, I remember he had like dirt on his face and his hair didn't look the um, cleanest like it hadn't been combed in a while and he had dirty clothes on and his pants and his diaper were falling down and I hope this you know doesn't make me totally weep <laughs> because the memory is not good um, at some point one of the adults I think it was she looked like she was probably a, a grandmother so I, I'm not she wasn't like old but um I'm thinking it was probably um, his grandma she 
just she was standing there and she randomly took the kid by his hair and lifted him about a foot off the ground and shook him and the child didn't react he, he was, I mean he wasn't even doing anything to, to deserve this maybe he was um, running up and down the aisle or something when they wanted him to not run up and down the aisle I mean <laughs> you know I don't remember like a huge scene most people don't want their kids running up and down the aisle but from what I can remember it wasn't even a situation like that they it was like the lady just was just so irritated that the kid was even there that the kid just existed that she actually pulled him up off the floor by his hair and then shook him so we my mom <laughs> my brother and I followed him we followed him out of the store and we followed them to where they lived and um, you know discreetly so that they didn't um, know that we were, were following them and my mom did report it and um yeah so she reported it and the child services I remember them um, getting back in contact with my mom and said that they did investigate they did go and make a house call and that there was really nothing that they could do at the moment because they didn't see anything specific any type of abuse or neglect at the moment um, but this again this was like in the late 80s so things are a little bit different now of course people now are don't even want to smack the kid on the butt in fear of having social services child services called on them but you know it was just you don't grab your kid by their hair and lift them off the ground and then shake them and again the, the the child, the toddler, didn't even react, and it was just—it was a very disturbing scene. It disturbed all of us. It disturbed me. It definitely disturbed my mom. And um, I had a friend growing up that was abu physically abused by her father, and. I, her dad used to pull her hair all the time to the point where the doctor allegedly told them that her hair wasn't going to grow anymore it, the, it was so damaged the follicles or whatever was so damaged her hair wouldn't grow so if that might have been this, why this baby didn't react to, it, to actually being lifted off the ground by his hair because he's probably used to it and head was numb but now the scene in the story is not specifically that but I did use my memories of um, how horrifying that was to see and just imagining or trying to imagine anyway what went on in that household what would lead to something like that and um, what should have happened or what hopefully I, I hope did eventually happen and that um, that the parents or the family um, got help or that the child was taken away from them um, so yeah that's the story of that <laughs> and this, this vlog is going on 10 minutes so just to switch things up a little bit make this vlog happier um, I have a very happy, very happy announcement and a huge thank you to give to Hello Dolly Nursery and to the doll group that chose me as one of the top five mommies for our ba reborn baby Kaylin. I didn't, was not blessed with Kaylin, but I was blessed with another baby. His name is Barry and we'll be seeing him soon I'll be holding him soon and tomorrow I might do a whole different 
um, thank you vlog something a little, a little bit more exciting when I'm a little bit more awake and not so depressed feeling <laughs> after telling that horrible story but I am super thrilled I'm super super grateful and I always will be because he's one of my first reborn babies he will technically be my first along with another baby that's coming from the wonderful SP Great House she has also blessed me with a baby I'm not sure if it's going to be a boy or, boy or a girl yet because we're, we're sort of um, discussing that still but whatever she wants to surprise me with however she wants to send this baby to me I will love and have fun with and, and you know do lots of fun videos and also congrats to the other two mommies that got babies huge congrats to um, the mommy of Kaylin and you know we look forward to I think I can speak for everyone when I say we look forward to seeing her box opening and a lot of fun videos with her and also the other baby that went home or is going home to her new home that'll be you know a bunch of fun box openings and um, yeah I'm gonna end it there but again huge thank you and see you later